We have a trade to announce. The Washington Mystics trade the draft rights to Stephanie Suarez, the fourth pick, to the Dallas Wings in exchange for a future first and a future second round pick. And with the fifth pick in the 2023 WNBA draft, the Dallas Wings select Lou Lopez Senechal, the University of Connecticut. Well, Lou Lopez Senechal, the transfer from Fairfield, who shined at Connecticut this season. Gina Oriema told us early on, she's someone who should go high in the draft and people aren't talking enough about her yet. Well, she ended up going fifth overall. She has a certain maturity to her game and to her as a person. When I watched her this season, Ryan, especially against Tennessee, I just thought she looked like a pro. She's 24, so has that maturity you don't often see in college players. Good size and length at the guard spot, can make tough shots with efficiency, in particular off of her mid-range pull-up game. She shot 48% on the season, 44% from three, but it's her pull-up game that really separates her from some of the other guards in this draft. Yeah, that 44% from three, Rebecca, on 77 made three-pointers. She can score at all three levels, including off of the bounce. Lou just has a toughness that when you watch her play, you realize she's going to find a way to score, find a way to impact the game. But you mentioned the experience and just her having that age and having transferred. She just has that maturity and definitely will make a huge difference with her outside shooting. And Lou is with Holly. Well, Lou has had a unique journey as well. You grew up in Grenoble, France. You went to a basketball academy in Ireland to get noticed and ended up at Fairfield and then UConn. How has this journey brought you to the WNBA draft? Yeah, I've come, I've come a long way. Um, very grateful for my journey and all the steps that you know I achieved and very grateful to be here. I remember Coach Oriema during the middle of the season saying people are sleeping on her. They need to know that she's fantastic and draft her. When did you start feeling like you could achieve this level? Um, I think this year, you know, I had the confidence and the trust from everyone around me, my coaches, my teammates, and it gave me confidence to realize that I could compete at this level too. I know your mom, your stepdad has been important in your journey. Were they able to come? Are they here with you? They're not here tonight, but they're watching me from friends. Uh, it's like 1 a.m. right now, I think. So very happy that they're able to watch me. And they've, they're one of the reasons why I'm here. So very grateful for them. Okay, look right in the camera and say what you'd like to them. Um, I'm, je vais parler en français, mais merci beaucoup d'être là pour moi toujours et de me soutenir et je vous aime beaucoup. Felicitations. Merci. merci. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.